my channel. So in this video, um, I used the Jeffree Star si Sin <laughs> Skin Frost. I did a, a quick little first impression with those, but I thought this time I'll do a proper review using them on my eyes and my cheeks. Um, if you want to see how I got this look and how I use those products, then please continue watching. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, so today I thought I would do a tutorial using the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost, which I recently did a review of, a uh, first impression. So I thought I'd use them properly this time. So as you can probably tell, I've got my eyebrows and my base done. Uh, I'm just going to spritz my face with my Body Shop spray, just so my skin's a bit wet for when I apply my highlighter because that's how I like to apply it. So because I really enjoyed Money Honey on my cheeks, I'm going to actually use that on my cheeks right now. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender because I felt that was the best way that the product applied on my skin. So I'm just applying it on the highest point of my cheek there. So I'm just patting this in and again it looks so pretty. I think my skin was a bit too wet. Um, need hot water. Oh, damn it! It's pulled away my powder that I had. It's just ruined it. Yep. Oh no. I think my skin was a bit too wet uh, and I've kind of just pulled off my concealer a bit. Never mind, we'll carry on. Pretend it didn't happen. So again, I like how this applies with the Beauty Blender. To the other side. Above the brow again. I'm going to use the Wet Dream one on my nose because I don't want a green nose but I don't mind this one being like on the cheekbones and on the face. There's so that one. Right, I'm just going to pick up a bit of wet dream put it on the tip and on the bridge <gasps> it's just so bright. and then a bit on my cube as well and then on my chin it's just so intense getting real I'm just gonna blend it out a bit because it's a bit too intense right now I really like Money Honey up there. I'm just going to blend a bit of Wet Dream on the forehead because it's going to be a bit too greeny. So there's that one. I'm just going to try and sort out the mess that I've made with my concealer there. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow application. So for this, I'm just going to apply some powder on the outer corner of my eye because I don't want any fallout. I'm just going to pick up my single eyeshadows from Makeup Geek to do this. Um, I think I'm going to go in with more of the brown colours. So I think I think I want to go for a dark brown to begin with. So this is Coco Bear. With Coco Bear on a Morphe M513 brush. I'm just going to go into the crease and close my eyes a little and tilt my head backwards. I've used the Smashbox 24 hour eye primer. And I'm just going to work it right into the crease and in little circular motions. I've not set my primer either, so it might be a bit difficult to begin with to get that blend, but I want the most colour payoff. Just pick a little bit more up and start that at the middle of the eye. 
again, just using circle motions to blend this in. And then once it's blended and I'm happy with the blend, I'll just carry on picking up more colour. And then I just wing it out a little as well on the outer corner. Because I'm going to connect the lower lash line with the upper eyelid eyeshadow. So I'm happy with that. Just do the same on the other eye. So I've nearly just finished blending my left eye. So I'll go in and pick up a smaller brush. And this one is the Morphe M433. And this time I'm going to pick up an even darker brown. And this is Americano. And this one again is from Makeup Geek. So with this one, I'm literally going to concentrate it on the crease of my eye and just work backwards and forwards with it. And again, tilt the head back just so you can see the eyelid space. And because this colour is quite potent, I don't want to add too much and make it look messy. I still want to be able to see the first colour that I put down, I think it was Cocoa Bear. Yeah, I still want to be able to see that colour peeking through. So once I've got less product on my brush, I'll bring it in towards the inner corner of my eye. And then I'll go back in with the original brush I used earlier, which was the M513, just to make sure that everything's blended and nothing is harsh. I'm just lightly going over it as well, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on that brush. So do the same on the other eye. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to put a little bit more on this eye. Because what I'm going to do is sort of a cut crease. Kind of a look on the eye and I want to make sure that my crease and transition are blended perfectly to how I want them to be. So, I used the highlighters on my eyelids and I really enjoyed it. So what I want to do is use them properly on my eyelids. So I'm going to pick up a flat brush like this one right here. And I'm actually going to use the Lit Cosmetics um, liquid glitter glue. So I'm going to pick a little bit of this up on the back of my hand because I don't want a lot. And then apply it straight onto the eyelids. I want it to be tacky. I'm going to apply most of it on the centre and where my lashes are and then when the brush is a bit more drier I'll be able to work my way up a little. While that's getting a bit tacky I'm going to pick up the highlighter on the same brush again and because it's got that glitter glue it shouldn't have a lot of fallout because there's something there for it to stick. So I'm patting the colour on on the centre of my eye and then I'll work my way up to kind of cut that crease. So I'm going to start cutting the crease a bit now. Try and work in slow, small sections. I just love how green it reflects by adding that glitter glue. So again, when you're cutting it, you want to tilt your head back so you can see where your eyelid is. I feel like your glitter glue is running out a little go back to your hand. You've got some on there still. And just pick 
more of it up. Now this time around I can't see a lot of fallout because like I said again, you've got the glitter glue there that is adhering to the highlighter. Again, it's not an eyeshadow, but I really liked it as an eyeshadow. It just looks insane. I think I'm happy with that because even when I look straight ahead, I can still see that shadow of the highlighter. So I'm going to go in with my lower lash line now. So I'm going to dust off this powder. And I'm going to use the same colours that I used on my crease. I love a lash line. So again, going in with a small crease brush. It's just from Real Techniques. Um, going in with Cocoa Bear again. And just applying that on the closest to my lash line. I always like to tap off the brush. Because otherwise the powder will go into my eye. And as you can see, I'm joining up the upper crease eyeshadow I like my lower lash line eyeshadow to be quite smoky underneath because I feel like it makes my eyes look a bit more wider, awake and open so I go quite low oh I got it in my eyeball so I go quite low with it. So once you're happy with that, I nearly am. I just need this eyes to look the same. I'm gonna go in with that Americano colour, but use it mainly on the outer corner of the eye. Just to give it a bit of dimension and depth. And this will just make your eyes look a bit more wider again as well. And more open. What I'm going to do is just apply my eyeliner, mascara and everything and I'll be right back. So I'm back. You're a bit too far away. Let's bring it a bit closer. I've just literally put on my blusher, did my eye makeup, did my brows. Um, and then I applied a bit of creme brulee on the brow, brow bone. Just to bring something back. So what I want to do now is actually use money, not money honey, wet dream on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to pick up my Makeup Geek pencil brush and apply this straight onto the inner corner because I always like an inner corner highlight and even that looks quite pretty. Because this is like a dense brush, I'm not experiencing a lot of fallout for this one either. I'm just going to bring this up to the intensity that I like which is quite intense. I'm debating whether to put anything on my bra. I think I might just do a little, only a little bit there. Like boop, a little bit, like that. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick up a brush just to blend that in a little. I mean, some of the glitter might flake away, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the Money Honey shade on my cheeks because I feel like when I put that blush on, some of it kind of went away. So put that back on. I'm actually loving how Wet Dream looks on the nose. So now I'm going to apply a lip colour. I'm just going to go grab one of Jeffy's. Just picked up Gemini, his liquid lip. I'm just going to apply this. So I'm just going to let that dry a little because what I want to do is put, um, I might want to put a little bit of wet dream on the centre of my lips. That is drying though, what I'll do is I'll just set my face with my Body Shop Spray. This will just help to sink in all the powders with my skin and I'll make the highlighters as well look a bit more glowy. Her is looking a bit crazy, but that's okay. Right, so I think it's set a little now. 
So what I'll do is just on my finger grab a wet drain and just literally rub that into the center of my lip. That's why picking up with your finger it picks up so much of the product. I just took that lip to a whole another level. I mean, if you didn't want to do that, then you know you can leave it as it is. But I just wanted to try it out really to see what it looked like. Um, so yeah, this is a proper, I guess, a full-on tutorial using the two uh, skin frost from Jeffrey Star. Again, I love it so much on my eye. It looks amazing. Literally, it's just so pretty. I'm just trying to use to what I'm a bit OCD. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, I've used it more in a tutorial kind of way, just focusing more on the highlighters using it on my face on the lips a little bit and also on the eyes um, again my favorite one has got to be money honey which is that green gold shade um, and hopefully i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>